if you're over 30 years old and tunasema kwa Kiswahili kimekuramba meaning you're broke it's really tough on you these are the things that you're supposed to do all right so this is the video all what you need to do guess what just relax imagine just do nothing i'm sharing this information for you or to you for free all what i need you to do is to like this video it doesn't cost you anything and as well subscribe okay now this is the point there's something that you're supposed to understand as we grow old okay and i always tell you when you're at your 20 to 30s at this particular point you usually have what we call the luxury of time and this is the miracle the thing that a lot of people do not understand you see when you are young talk of 20s to that is why not below 20 obviously at 20s is the first time you get your salary you get employed and all those kind of things okay now this is what you do and this is the most important thing that you can do if you are at this particular age group why at this particular point you have the ability to save less you can actually save less and also if you do what we call save less you multiply by a longer period of time then you're gonna go do what you're gonna have what you call bigger savings all right you save less in a longer period of time then you're gonna have what a bigger savings but now at this particular age of 30 we can't regard you as an old individual as well by the way but the point is this it's actually an old age of youth just the way they say like 45 or 50 is the young age of the old. Now, that is the old age of youth. One thing that I'm supposed to understand is that as you delay to engage into savings, into investment, into taking serious in terms of your life, the tougher it becomes, okay? Now, the point is this. When you are at your 30s, you are about to hit an age that is 40, which becomes a little bit tougher. Why? Probably you have a kid who is about to go to a high school. You have other kids. You have other responsibilities to pay on all those kind of things then therefore it means that you have to actually save less and again remember you do not have time on your end so what does it mean if you can be able to do something at this particular age group of 30s to 40 and let me tell you one secret if you can be able to make it below or between 30 to 40 that is usually the sweetest time you can actually salvage your life okay now what do you do if you're at that is or above that is and you're actually broke the very first thing you'll do guess what it's not a rocket science you know something that you have never heard is something that you have ever had what is it you need to understand your numbers most of the people the reason as to why you find them broke is that they don't understand their numbers number two you're supposed to cease from feeding the emotional part of you understand one thing you messed up you could have started all the way at 20s but now where you are right now actually salvage more and more because this is what happens as you let wait as you wait time to progress then it means you ought to save more but now the question is you are required to save more so that at least you can cap on the time see there are two ways on achieving your dreams a is either you increase the amount of money that you are saving to actually shorten the period or b save less and then push along or push your dream a little bit further but now the point is that you're running out of time now what exactly do you do you a little bit increase your game and that's why i've said there are three things that you're supposed to sacrifice here number one you have to sacrifice what we call the luxury all right number two you have to sacrifice things that we call the emotional based you know emotional based decisions or something called like you just want to do things based on how you're feeling and that one you have to incorporate things that we call sacrifice you know sacrifice you have to incorporate discipline okay and you have to incorporate what we call consistency because without consistency you never get to where you want to be now what do you do what are the mechanical things that you're supposed to do when you're at your 30s a understand your numbers okay a understand your numbers what do I mean by your numbers? I always tell you and never forget to remind you that your numbers are actually classified into two. We have what we call the income. That's what you get, be it either a day, a week, or a month. Okay? You have to understand your numbers. And usually on your numbers, we usually have what we call the income. Okay? And B, on this category, we usually have the numbers, we call them the expenses. Okay? Now, those two things are what makes a human being. Income is what you get paid. Okay, or maybe let's say you're running a business is what gets in into your pocket and the expenses, these are the things that sustains you. Data that sustains the business or sustains your existence. Now, the difference between these two is what we usually salvage, we invest and usually get what we call the baby money or the passive income. Understand your numbers. And number two, when it comes to 30 years and above, you are supposed to be, we expected you to be more mature. When I say mature, not only socially, biologically, physiologically, but also psychologically, 
psychologically and also when you say financially and all those kind of things okay meaning that you're supposed to understand more is ought to be i mean you know, you know, you know. There's a certain age that you reach, and then you realize, hey, guess what? I'm expected to do this and the other. At this particular time, don't expect us to push, do what we call the push and pull. Tell you now, you're an adult. You're about to get a family, and if you don't want to get a family, because we have some people who don't get married. But now the point is this: you're gonna grow old. What do you wanna retire with? And again, uh -huh, what are you looking forward to? Perhaps maybe you have some family members who look after you and all those kind of things. And if you do not have family members who look after you, the society is looking for, for you. For example, you ought to make a difference in your locality, in your village, in your town, in your city, in your country, and all those kind of things. Remember one thing, we were all created with a purpose, okay? Now, uh, when you are 30, you're supposed to be matured. Okay? and understand some things. When I talk to a mature, you see, well, it's, it's very hard to talk to an 18-year-old person or 20-year-old person, or let's say just below 25 years old, and you talk about sacrifice, you talk about consistency, you talk about discipline. It usually becomes a very hard language for them to understand. Because for them at that particular age, they're actually doing what we call the self-identification. If you tell them, hey, to sacrifice all the things that makes them happy or makes them feel happy, then you can be able to rub shoulders with them. And that's why you find most of the parents usually have very hard time talking to their teenagers in terms of them savings, in terms of them getting a job, in terms of you don't have to get all your money and buy your shoe and buy your trousers and all those kind of things. You can actually do this. It doesn't ogre well unless by God's grace that somebody has the what we call, you know, there are some people who are chosen few in our midst. They are young, but they behave as if they are adults. There are some people you find them just is an adult or rather is a kid trapped in a 30 year old body there, there are people who are actually behave like that so what do i mean at this particular point understand your numbers okay so that you know exactly what is ought to be saved and what are the areas you can be able to sacrifice and salvage on so that you maximize the amount of money that actually that actually call savable okay the other thing is that if you are broke obviously don't hang around with the fellow broke people you know what happens they justify you let me just write that point. Don't hang around. Or quit. Quit, you know, quit hanging around. Quit hanging around with what? Other broke people. Meaning that, hey, guess what? Most of the people you find like, hey, if you do not have money, and then you find people who do not have money as well, then after that you get yourself a seat and then you conversate on about how the economy is tough, how money is unavailable right now, there are no jobs. There are people who are just telling you what you want to hear. What you're supposed to do, disturb your comfort. What do I mean? Once you disturb your comfort is that do not do those things that makes you happy. At this particular point I said, and I'm borrowing some leaf from you being mature, is to understand you do not have to do things that makes you happy, but if you have to do them, then they have to do something as far as your finance is concerned. So don't hang around with these people who are actually as broke as you are. You ought to hang around with people who actually know some nitty gritties. Even if it means you following them, even if it means you working for them, it doesn't matter. Sometimes, let me tell you one secret. Back then when I was actually a fresh graduate, I used to work for under somebody who was actually never even to university. Somebody never, never even went to a, a high school. But I was there, I was following, because let me tell you one secret. They always say for you to lead, you have to follow fast. You have to wear the boots. You have to wear the shoes of those who follow. So that by the time you get that grace by God to be able to lead people, you always understand. This is what it feels when you follow somebody and all those kind of things. Remember what I always say when you're at your 30 to 40s, follow somebody, learn from somebody, okay? From 40 to 50s, do that what you understand. You do not have time. From 50 to 60s, all right? You can check that video. Anyway, the point is this. When you're at your 30s, stop hanging around with the people who justify your situation. Hang around with the people who are telling you, hey, you know what, flan, flan, you're not doing the right thing. You know what and what? You can be able to do this. You brother, hang around with somebody who is telling you, you are just stupid. You I don't know what you're doing with your money. You're squandering everything. Do this. Rather than hanging around with somebody who is telling you, guess what? I think we can just go there, convert somewhere. Let's record ourselves. Let's make our videos. And then, uh, you know, the, the videos that are not, you know, you're not really a content creator. They're just pulling some crowd so that at least they condemn the government, they condemn where you're born from, they condemn your country and all those kind of things. So cease doing exactly that because that one can actually or will actually mean more problems than goods to you. Start from the law out there. And the third one, of course, 
incorporate the character of what we call investment understand one thing no matter how small it is you can actually be able to do one thing we call you can be able to do greater things in future so the point is this learn to do what we call the savings and also invest somewhere and i said nowadays you really don't have to, to save you can actually you know if, if your dream is to start a business okay if your dream is to start a business then you can be able to invest your money directly in some of the areas that i've been talking each and every time i don't want to mention them i've been talking about them like ages and ages go check my older videos you'll be able to see them okay you can actually accumulate your money in those areas one you reach uh, once your money reaches a certain particular percentage you can be able to withdraw it and go invest in some other particular areas okay but now this is what i'm gonna part you with you guys okay i'm gonna leave you with this message when you're at your 30s to 40s believe you not we say at this particular age we accept we expect the maturity has already kicked in and we expect you whenever you hear something that you've never heard and is a something that can actually change your life incorporate it do something and transform your life the same case applies right now you've heard this message probably is your first time you're hearing me i am joseph talk about finance talk about money anything related to investment and if you don't want to miss any good of my videos you always down below there on your right there is a small button written subscribe hit that magic button and perhaps maybe you feel like hey guess what joseph i love what you're saying i love what you're doing out there i would love to have a, a conversation with you i would love to have a coffee with you i would love to have a round table with you you can always pick my number and my number is always on the description of this specific video so that at least you go out there pick my number let's have conversation and let's progress to the next level and, and what's the importance of that and, and by the way for just a cup of coffee and by the way i do also have booklets about investments areas where you can be able to do so even if you're outside the country even if you're within you can be able to uh, you know save your money out there and do something as far as your life is concerned guess what life has no shortcut and don't try to um twist the process don't try to cheat the process because if you try to cheat the process you're gonna get yourself into lots of problems why because you find most of the people don't understand one thing you think like hey guess what um uh, you see, I'm going to try to do this because, you know, I'm feeling like I'm taking a lot of time before I actually save my money. See, you feel like I'm taking a lot of time before I actually achieve my dreams. So you tend to get yourself to things like gambling. See, those are the things that you're supposed to even avoid, especially when you're in this particular age. And if you have to gamble, which I do not advocate, then gamble with that what you know you can afford. You can afford to do what? You can afford to lose. Okay? You can afford to lose okay now the point is this at all the time at all the time i advocate this avoid gambling number two don't try to you see when you gamble you are trying to do what to control luck you can't control luck you can't control luck this is nobody knows when it will gonna kick and no one should never ever lie to you this is the best time to do so because you're gonna get yourself into lots of of problems so when you're at your 30s do not panic feeling that the time is moving now whatever you've saved actually gonna channel it towards gambling you're gonna get yourself into lots of problems because this one will never solve your problem it will never solve. i know but perhaps you are borrowing a leaf from somebody who did gamble and then their life changed abruptly but now the question is this whatever, from wherever you are at what rate people do they win those things we call uh you know lotteries and gamblings and what have you at what rate compared to the larger population then that should answer you the question because at the end of the day what you do they collect all your losses then you accumulate it somewhere first of all they invest and then they take that money and then once somebody wins you know after one blue moon then they give that i mean the, the point is this just gamble without what you know you can be able to afford to lose and do not have any bad feelings toward them anyway guess what guy that marks the end of my video but never forget it's never the end of me posting a video each and every time okay for now it's a goodbye and see you in the next one